It's a day in Disneyland like we've never had before. Literally. Hey, ma'am, fam, we're in Disneyland and we're spending the whole day doing things we've never done before. There are some brand new things to experience, like the newly reimagined Toontown, the Magic Happens Parade just returned, but there's also just some restaurants and smaller attractions that none of us have done. It's gonna be great. Come along with us. Yay! We are starting our day off today in Disney California Adventure with a stroll down Hollywood land for breakfast, please and thank you. Oh yeah, we have a breakfast spot that somehow none of us have ever gotten anything from. We are headed to Schmoozies. Schmoozies. Schmoozies is this cute little stand right here across from the animation building. You can do a couple of different smoothies as well as some shakes and coffees. Great for an anytime, but especially great for a breakfast. And we are just waiting on our mobile order. All right, I picked up the Mango Madness. What did you get, Max? This is a strawberry banana. And Molly? Cold brew. Okay, and? No, just cold brew. And? And this Steamboat Willie themed milkshake. Wow. Whoa. I know, I'm normally not the one that goes for this, but it's so cute and it's cookies and cream. Oh, it's so good. Good? Yeah, it's just a really good cookies and cream milkshake. And it's cute because the Oreos and the whipped cream make it look like his little hat. That's cute. Mm -hmm. It's all very tasty. It is. I mean, standard smoothies, but yeah, good like smoothies. A, a white affair. Yeah. You know? I always say there should be more smoothies in the theme parks. Like, I don't know why Adventureland doesn't have a smoothie stand with like mm -hmm. fresh fruit smoothies. They're a good snack. They're refreshing. Yeah. Good breakfast. Would you go to smoothies again? Yeah. Yes. What about you? Yeah. Cold brew mobile order. It's my dream. Okay. What's next? Bread. Bread. Yeah. I love bread. <laughs> okay, Oprah. <laughs> Up next is our bakery tour, which was an opening day experience here on the Pacific Wharf. It used to be a guided tour. It is now a self-guided tour, which means, listen guys, we get to go in and experience the joys of bread on our own time. I may never leave. Are you gonna I, experience I, the joys of bread? Yeah, the joys of bread. Well, hey, it's not just any bread, it's sourdough bread. Okay, so okay. we'll get so, Radiator Springs Racer sliding. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we'll be yeah, yeah, with the bread right, after yeah. We can hang out with the bread. Yeah, yeah. Got guys. Okay. It's bread. Let's go get that we, bread. We're excited. It's gonna be great. Okay, what'd you just say to me? They're gonna hand us bread. I didn't actually realize that. Yeah. Now I'm excited. A little snack. Not just any bread. Sourdough bread. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> this is some of the best bread. The mother dough, guys. Okay, Charles Boyle. <laughs> it does smell really good in here. Hello. Oh my gosh, thank you. You're welcome. Yes. What do you think? I take back my sarcasm. This is great. You can buy a giant Mickey made of sourdough. Rosto Bacillus San Francisco. We just learned that. We do. From Colin Mockery. And Roger O'Donnell. Remember Whose Line Is It Anyway? Mm -hmm. That show was great. Still, still on. on. Is he still on it? Yep. Wow. Is he? Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm. Him and Ryan Stiles. Mm. I'm out of bread. Should we buy that Mickey bread? Probably. Heck yeah. Romans love bread. Look at the scale tipping when you get it right. Two for two right now. Okay. Okay. Every batch of Boudin sourdough starts the original dough from 1849. I think so. You're eating old stuff. Wait, you're telling me the bread we just ate started from the same dough? I was correct. That's the mother dough from 1849. Okay, this is very cool. Yeah, bread is amazing. I do like eating bread. This is I like how it's eating made. that bread a lot. This is the proofer, right? What does that mean? Uh, it allows the yeast to grow and rise and eat the sugars and the starches inside the dough. And that creates gas, effectively yeast farts. Oh. And burps. Are those the ovens? Yeah. Baking all that bread? Oh, it does say ovens. It says right ovens there. up at the top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see that now. <laughs> okay, you gotta admit, that was fascinating. I did like eating bread. I also liked eating bread. And the learning about bread. I do think it's interesting that all the bread comes from the same mother dough, even the bread we just ate. And hey, you can eat delicious bread bowls full of macaroni and cheese or soup when you come to Disney California Adventure, like True. we did in our episode, Winter Picks Dinner of Disneyland. Check it out after this video. Now, I don't know if I'd do the tour again, but I definitely would go to the restaurant and eat the bread bowls. I would most certainly go eat bread again. I would do the tour again too for the free bread. Oh, you're just gonna cycle through? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get like Mickey ears and then like a mustache and then a different <laughs> shirt and just keep going back through the line. Are you the same lady? No. 
I, I think if you are just looking to kill a few minutes and are also very a little bit hungry, um, this is a good place to walk through. Or enthusiastic about carbohydrates, or really. Or you love bread. <laughs> Well, now that we have had a bite of bread, we had our smoothies and a milkshake or a cold brew, it's time for a bit of an activity. And this one is one that we haven't done on this coast. We're headed over to the Animation Academy, which is in the Animation Building here in Hollywood Land, where you can learn to draw a Disney character just like a Disney animator. Now, while I think all of us have done this at Walt Disney World, we've never done this over here in Disneyland, and they've got a bunch of different characters they uh, offer throughout the day. They share their schedule and who they're going to be drawing at every different time slot. So if there's somebody you're excited about, you can try to get to draw them. Of course, these drawings are subject to change without any notice, but it's a good shot if you're interested in drawing Mike or May or Pluto, you can try to get into the drawing class where they're going to be drawing that character. We are super excited to go in and see uh, what comes out. Now, the Animation Building is not only home to the Animation Academy, one, you just have this lovely inside area where they rotate pieces of animation and music. One of my favorite places to go just to chill. If I need to sit down, need a little bit of a rest, I'll come here and get out of the heat in the summer. It's the best. But you also have other uh, activities you can do in here, such as Turtle Talk with Crush. Um, there's the Sorcerer's Workshop, which is sort of engaging character moments uh, where you can do like quizzes to find out what character are you. And then there is actually a character meet and greet with Anna and Elsa. Anna and Elsa's Royal Welcome, the character close-up is in here, and then of course, the Animation Academy. We made art. Look at that. Oh, we drew Mickey's best friend. Pluto. Yeah, we did. Where's <laughs> yours? It's right here. What's it look like? Let's see it. Oh, it's cool. Nice. Hey, it's all about doing it. You know what, though? I noticed some really cool Easter eggs. Like the fact that the hats, the Mickey ears embroidered on some of the busts were Frank and Ollie, two of Walt Disney's nine old men. So that's cool. I, I also that. had an enriching experience, even if my Pluto looks drunk. I mean, Your Pluto yeah. looks fine. He looks it's, good. He looks good. I love this experience. I think it's so much fun. I know it takes time. It's a little bit longer. And it feels like, oh, just drawing. And maybe you'd rather ride rides. But every time I do it, I love it. It's just such a nice, I think, experience for any group traveling together to sit down and just chill for a second. And then do, like, you can just show each other your work. You walk away with something tangible, and that's just a ton of fun. Yes, you can. Everybody in there was laughing, too, and giggling and looking at each other's drawings. And this park has a bunch of heavy hitter rides, kind of like Hollywood Studios. It definitely fills up, especially in the middle of the day. The lines can get pretty long, so I'd recommend getting 15, 20 minutes before class, especially if there's a character you see on that list and you're like, I absolutely must draw that yeah. character. But I agree. I think this is a fun experience and uh, good for all ages. Indeed. Well, that wraps up the very short list of things we haven't done here in Disney California Adventure. As it turns out, we've all done a lot in this park and now we've done it all. But that doesn't mean the fun ends because we're headed just across the street to Disneyland Park. This is why I love coming out here so much because it will literally be two minutes and we'll be inside the other park. So give us a sec. Made it into Disneyland, walking slightly to the right down Main Street USA. And we have some thrilling attractions. In fact, we have two different versions of the same attraction. That's true. <laughs> but we also have a parade and a whole reimagined land. So things are very exciting around here. I just love walking down Main Street here. It's so quaint, so small. First stop, we're making a quick little pit stop here in Tomorrowland. Uh-huh. Because none of us have ridden Astro Orbiter. It's true. Ooh. Another one that I think on the East Coast probably we've all ridden, but here on the West Coast at the entry to Tomorrowland. Basically on Main Street. <laughs> might as well be in Castle Hub. <laughs> I also think one of the rare times it's better in Disney World because at least in Disney World it's up high and you yeah, get a you cool get view. view. Yeah. 
Uh, but what are you talking about? You get a great view of the castle. <laughs> well, we're going to find out right now because here we go. Can't wait to watch multiple of us try and fit in a rocket. Yeah, I'm in the front. Bros can't ride together. <laughs> Bros can't ride together. <laughs> Don't worry, we're comfy. <laughs> Wait, how do I go up? Am I doing it? No, you push. Oh, are we going down? Yeah, we're going down. <laughs> <laughs> you having fun, Max? This is so comfortable. You got so much room to move. I'm so dizzy. <laughs> okay, well. Bros can't ride together on that one. Bros cannot ride together on Disneyland's ass road. That is not a first date ride. <laughs> you are comfy and cozy. We should have asked for three rockets. Or when he offered us three rockets, yeah, we should have taken should have said three yes. rockets. Yeah, if, if you are adults, um, <laughs> maybe take your own rocket. This you is a suggestion. <laughs> we normally will ride bros together. This is the exception that makes the rule, I would say. Yeah. I have to tell you, that I looked inside that rocket and went, Oh no. Yeah, that was cozy. <laughs> yeah, I was halfway in and then and then pulled out. So uh, I don't think Astro Orbiter is a must ride unless you have little kids, maybe, but even still there's uh, so many awesome fantasy land rides yeah. and other rides in Tomorrowland like Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin or Autopia or even Nemo, I think is more of more fun than Astro. Yeah. It's a good Dumbo clone. So you know pretty views. It'd be pretty at night probably. It's nice, yeah. And it actually went faster than I anticipated yeah, I was, around some it, of those it turns. It around, but um, I think hungry for a little snack. Oh, oh yeah. snack a root. And that snack needs to come from a cartoon duck. Oh. My, my favorite animal. Yeah. We are headed to a newly reopened Mickey's Toontown. Now, you may remember from the D100 video, we actually rode Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. And all of us have ridden Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin. That is a nightmare ride. I just don't like spinning. Well, that's cute. I've never noticed that. It's like tune noises. Yeah. But when this land reopened, it reopened with all of the wonderful houses as well as a new quick service dining location that we need to try. Oh, this is just adorable. It's so cute. It really is. I haven't gotten to walk around yet. I'm looking forward to dive, like going down and seeing what changes have been made and I want to go in Minnie's out. house. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. But first, we have an order from Cafe Daisy, the new quick service stand to pick up. Snackies. Now, while Toontown has all kinds of exciting offerings, again, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, Roger Rabbit Cartoon Spin, you can go through Donald's Boat or Goofy's Barn or Mickey and Minnie's Houses, there's the Chippendale Gadget Coaster. The real attraction is having a picnic in the grass. So we picked up some goodies from Cafe Daisy. We have the picnic time watermelon lemonade we got the specialty cold brew sans whipped cream also the toontown tater chips which come with a chili cheese dipping sauce and the pizza flop over the pepperoni edition and of course extra cheese sauce to dip the pepperoni flop over into they also have a couple of hot dogs a spring garden wrap but this looks fun nice and tasty they have donuts there too. And right next door to Cafe Daisy is Good Boy Grocers where you can get the really cute Mickey picnic basket and fill it with little goodies and have yourself a little picnic. I have the watermelon lemonade. Mm, that's good. Now the tartness of the lemonade with just a little hint of the watermelon. Also, it came with gummies on top, but they've sunk to the bottom very quickly. So that'll be a little end of drink treat. <laughs> We're vibing because they're playing like a folksy version of eye to eye right now. Anyway, I got the specialty cold brew and it is iced coffee with sea salt caramel toffee sauce. It comes with whipped cream, but I didn't get whipped cream. Ooh, that's good. 
definitely sweeter than regular cold brew. Glad I didn't get the whipped cream because that would have been too sweet for my tasting, but you could actually taste the sea salt. That's a good cold brew. I have the house-made potato chips. Uh, we're gonna go dry the first time. Good crunch, not super thin, but like a mid-cut. And they look to be kettle fried. Now let's go with our little dip of this cheese sauce. Semi-thick cheese, a little bit of ground beef or meat in there. A um, lot of cumin, a little bit of chili pepper, not spicy, nothing to write home about, but nothing to complain about. Just a really good dipping accoutrement. Oh yeah. Whoa, that was a good cheese ball. All right, this is the pepperoni flop over. Just looks like pizza flopped over. Very cheesy. Mm -hmm. It's the Leaning Tower of Cheese. Nice. You know, we like to rag on Disney pizza pretty regularly. Um, it's not the best pizza I've ever had, but it'll get by. And it's better than most Disney pizza. So that's good enough for me. How does it compare to Pizza Fari? Well, you know, Molly is really Pizza Fari's biggest fan. I agree. Nobody loves Pizza Fari more than Molly, but you know, we we really will put up with the punishment of having to go there to to make her happy. Ultimately, we want to make Molly happy. Right. And so we will do whatever it takes to make Molly happy, including going to Pizza Safari. We have to. But this is a better pizza. Don't don't tell Molly that. I wouldn't dream of it. I just forgot how neat their houses were. Mm. It's so cute. Every detail is so cute. I particularly like the fridge of cheese in yes. Minnie's house. Yes. I relate to that. It's important to have that on hand. Yeah. I also love how Chippendale's gadget coaster goes right by Donald's house just to annoy him with the noise. Mm. Oh, that's true. Great. And here we get to see Daisy's nieces represented April, May, and June. I like that they're oh. on the garbage cans. Okay, Max, are they brooms or mops? The brooms. Uh, well, the why brooms. is there water? I don't know. But I like your decisiveness. Brooms. Yeah, they're definitely brooms. But water. Broomsticks. Broomsticks. They're broomsticks. Yeah, but they're, well, I don't understand why they have water. I don't know. <laughs> we just know they're brooms. We know they're brooms. Though. Okay. <laughs> Good enough. Let's go to Mickey's house. Oh, it's been too long since I visited Mickey's house. What a great storage plan. What I really has to do like a very particular jump to get, <laughs> to get through this. What a bop and radio tune to coach Mickey from Toontown Little League. Aww. It's a steamboat. I'm feeling the feelings. I love all of the little nods to the other characters. We got a note from Minnie Mouse here. I like that the, t the claim check is Brave Little Tailor Shop of Toontown. Oh. <laughs> Goofy Are you wrote doing a about safety? We just had Roger Rabbit on the voicemail, so. <laughs> a scent of mice. Cheese and the peace. smile book, cheese and peace. <laughs> Random mouse dictionary. Look at this book. Oh, um, my pal Walt. Tribute. Marceline Publishing Co. It's Mickey's baby book down here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, is that an original Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love the laundry machine with the gloves in there. That's great. We've got two knots bleach. <laughs> Toonie. 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 Yeah. He even has nails in his Maxwell House coffee. It's Maxwell, Maxwell House. House. Uh, Toontown Hotel. Yeah. Toontown U. Oh my gosh. Petunia pellets. Mouse cosh overalls. He keeps a beautiful garden. This is 100%. Living with the land. Yeah, yeah it sounds like living with the land at Epcot. Aww. The, the, the music. Through the garden section? That's Through cute. Section. I knew we weren't crazy when we heard it outside. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're in Mickey's movie barn, which you can see props from a lot of his famous cartoons. Like, oh my gosh, look at the little clothes. Minnie's dress and the fan concert uniform. The airplane from Playing Crazy. This is adorable. 
bones for Pluto. If you keep going, you can actually meet Mickey. And what's really fun about meeting Mickey here is that you don't know which costume he's going to have on. He could have on his classic look, his Fantasia Mickey look. He could have on his uh, Steamboat Willie look. He could even have on band concert. But he has kind of a long line. So we're going to return back to Toontown and see what else we can find. This whole land is just so cute. Now, it does say this play area is for kids 2 to 12. Um, I don't know if we make it. Uh, um, so that's like official age, not at, at heart? I think so. Got it. So maybe we go buy some power lines. Ooh, I do want to buy power lines. Yeah, 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 yeah. One thing I can see, though, from out here, it says that over there is, like, the Bigfoot Lookout, which is an Easter egg from Goofy Movie. That's adorable. And you've got Goofy Scarecrow, which is himself. It's just everywhere you look is cute. It's just cute. That's the only way to describe this land. We have retrieved our power lines. Power lines. Originally featured in the queue of Mickey Minnie's Railway. Railway. Now, they are real. They're sour lime taffy. They also made the gold coins with Scrooge on them and the lollipops. They were sold out of the lollipops, though. Mm. And as a pro tip, they're behind the counter. Right, true. You won't find them on a shelf. You have to ask. It's like a in-the-know thing to get a power line. That's right. Oh, I thought we were going to cheers. Molly, Molly couldn't wait. Do you still wow. want to cheers with me? It's very, sure. Oh, wow. Pink. Pink. Bon cheers the bottom of yours. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well. I haven't had taffy in a minute. My bite was too big. It tastes like sour candy. It's good. My bite was too big. It's very sticky. So much one bite. Pretty good. Tastes like sour lime candy. And it's fun. <laughs> you sad. Would you say it stands out? I love the crowd. The crowd. You know what? You and I yeah. see an eye to eye on this yeah, candy. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? After today, I probably won't eat taffy candy for another long time. Possums. Bigfoot. I wouldn't want to eat these with nobody else but you. Alphabet soup. Hi, Dad Soup. Should we go watch the parade now? Sure. sure. We've made it out of Toontown, the cartoon world, and returned to Fantasyland, where we will find our spot for the Magic Happens Parade. Now, Magic Happens Parade actually first debuted right before the lockdown in 2020. It only ran for a very, very short time. And then, of course, for years, we didn't have a parade here at Disneyland. But very recently, Magic Happens has returned and is running throughout Disneyland Park. Now, again, if you've never been to Disneyland, I think we've mentioned this before, but if there are multiple parades a day, you will find that they will run in different directions. The first, if there are two parades a day, the first one will step off from Small World and run toward the front of the park. And the second parade will run from the front of the park and go toward Small World, backwards. If there's only one parade a day, it should run from the front of the park to Small World. So just know that the route never changes. If you're on the route, you're going to see it, but it may come in different directions based on which parade you're watching. So we're going to find our spot for the Magic Happens Parade, first parade of the day, and uh, check it out. <laughs>
was we, really good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it? You like the parade? I love that song so much. It's a beautiful parade. Some really incredible floats. That Moana float is next level. Is that it, your favorite? Yeah, I think so. It's so just advanced technologically that I, and stunning. Yeah. Also, I love the choreo. This oh, yeah. the entire choreo end to end is I love superb. the I love the female flag dancers at the end mm -hmm. with the purple and pink banner or blue and pink banner. So I can't talk. <laughs> 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 For uh, Aurora, her dress at the end was awesome. Oh yeah, I was imagining that the three fairies were on a float that was moving while they were spinning, and I was like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Oh. All right, so your favorite float was the Moana float. What was yeah. your favorite float? I think that the Frozen float was pretty incredible. Oh, it's beautiful oh, yeah. with the, the knock, amazing. the water horse at the and front. And spin at the end when they also had snow, oh, snow at the back. It. Yeah. Um, I like both of those, but I'm going to shout out the Coco float. Yeah. Oh, Absolutely yeah. beautiful. The Mummy, Milda, and Ector like puppets at the back that were singing along were awesome. And then if you watch Dante, he starts as Dante the dog, and then he goes into the float and then jumps out as the Alabrije spirit Dante. And so that was really cool. <laughs> Plus, I liked the Alabrije like, puppet walking behind oh, him. That, that was, was awesome. incredible. Costumes are amazing for all the dancers as well. Like every costume was so cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the music that is like the best parade music I've ever heard. That, it's a bop. Yeah. That it, magic happens song. Right. Plus Merlin. Yo, I got so excited when I saw Merlin. Yeah. yeah. I love that movie. <sighs> a must see, I think. Absolutely. Also, Merlin can get it. Merlin still got can the moves. get it. He, yep. Breaking yeah. it down. Oh, I was okay. so emotional. Well. What's next? We're not going far because we're going to hear a story of Beauty and the Beast. Yes. I've heard that one. There's, not here. There's a cute little theater over by the storybook area where you can meet the princesses and they do little retellings of Tangled and Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to go see the little play. Guys, we're supposed to huzzah. Okay. Have we ever had to huzzah? Yes. We are very good at a huzzah. We're good at huzzah. Huzzah! Not in this environment. Should we practice? Quietly. Quiet huzzah? Quiet huzzah. Like Doesn't that, that violate the virtue of a huzzah? Being, it's a polite huzzah. We're being courteous. Oh, a polite huzzah. A polite huzzah. Like right. a golf huzzah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, cool, a golf a huzzah. A tennis huzzah. Are uh, you ready? Yeah. One. Huzzah. Yeah, I feel Nailed ready. Bonjour and welcome to the Royal Theatre. Come on, thank you. I'm so excited to be here and help tell my story. Free turkey legs for everyone! Yes, what I really knew was, I'm the most eligible bachelor in the village. I'm strong. I'm handsome. I'm dairy hair. Devin. Exactly. <laughs> I'm a ladies. <laughs> you see, the priest was once a handsome prince. But because of his selfishness, a spell was cast upon him. And all of us were living in the castle. <laughs> As for the rose, it too was put under a spell. So and continued to move until this is the prince's twenty-first year. As you can see, the petals have begun to fall. Look out! <laughs> huzzah! We're really good at that. We are yeah, very we're good at well huzzah. <laughs> we, oh, well practiced. Yeah. Huzzah! 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 <laughs> Dave had to join in. Yeah. <laughs> we're trying to, I was trying to move out of Dave's way. I mean, <laughs> yeah, Dave yeah, wanted yeah, to yeah, give yeah, us a, a huzzah. hearty huzzah as well. Yeah. Who doesn't want a hearty huzzah? I, I think that show is so cute. Full disclosure, when my family was here, Alan and I watched the Tangled one. So there's two different ones. Usually Tangled's the first few shows and Beauty and the Beast is the second few. Yeah. Um, so cute though. Yeah, super cute. The storytellers do such a good job. It's fun to see Belle out and about. And kind of like uh, if you've been to Walt Disney World, maybe you know the the old Enchanted Tales with Belle version that yeah. had... Um, uh, you mean the one that was by the... Storytime with Belle. Storytime story with, with Belle, that was where Merida... Yeah. Actually, I think... Yeah, it's still Merida. For some reason, I thought someone else was going in that garden. Am I, I making that up? I believe that's going to happen. Mirabelle at some point. Mirabelle. Mirabelle is going yeah. in that but garden. But today, it is still Merida. So we're just I replacing so. an M character. Yeah. Any. Same number of letters? 
Maybe. Maybe that was the last time. <laughs> All right. And Mirabelle's seven. Yeah, almost. Six. Yeah. Welcome to math, everybody. Yeah. We're down a rabbit hole. Now, anyway. I also really enjoy that for the adults, it has enough humor in there that makes it actively oh, funny. Sure. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Yes. I laughed out loud several times at both versions of the show. It's only like 15 minutes long, too, so it's a cute little break. They actually have areas the kids can sit up near the front, mm-hmm. um, so it's a good little sit-down minute. Totally. In fact, this whole area is really cute. This is where you've got Royal Hall to meet the princesses. They often have other characters out and about. I think Rapunzel and Flynn are over there. Mulan was here when we yeah. walked in. Snow the Queen. Snow Queen, Queen came out. just walked out. Yep. We've seen Gaston out here. We sure so, did. So, this is a cute little area. There's a little treat cart over there if you want a little Maurice's treats. With a, with a cheesy garlic knot situation. Alan's mentioned it multiple times today. I think Alan wants the cheesy wants garlic knot. the knot. cheesy garlic knot. Who's to say? We'll get you a cheesy garlic knot. Okay. But first, let's show these cute little details. Oh, yes, let's. Yeah. But that might have been. I, okay, the parade was obviously my favorite. And I liked visiting New Two Town, but that's my favorite thing. Yeah, so far very today. cute. Yeah. It's very cute. Very cute little detail around here. If you ever want to see Easter eggs, look at bulletin boards. But of course, you've got the Flynn Rider can't get his nose right sign. That oh, one's really yeah. bad. <laughs> that's that. I'd be mad. I'd have Same. my feelings hurt. Uh, but then you've got uh, Clopin's music box here. You've got Maurice's treats. And then you've got this sign here for a missing cat who enjoys bird watching and taking cat naps. Reward offered, no strings attached. You may know that that's Figaro from Pinocchio, hence the no strings attached joke. But come and let's see if we can find little Figaro. If you go just a few steps further and look up, we found Figaro. And it looks like he was, in fact, trying to catch a bird. So cute. I'm taking a cat nap. Taking a little cat nap. Yeah, I love him. And then you also have the music box. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was gonna be. You're doing great. Thank you. A few moments later. That was very good turning. Thank you. But besides the cute turning, if you look in the back, there's a whole bunch of character Easter eggs. Yeah, there's Peter Pan. King Stefan. Gaston. Mr. Smee. Belle and, oh, yeah. Belle and the Prince. Some of the dwarves. Snow White's back there. Fl- is that Flynn Rider next to Snow White? 100% is. Like Flynn Rider. The guy who plays the thing in in okay. the thing. Aha. Uh-huh. The accordion? The accordion in Lady and the Tramp. The guy who plays the thing in the thing. You know the one. And yeah, there's that's... the mean guy from Pinocchio. Oh, Gaston's back there, too. Did we mention him? I did, but next to him is the guy who's like, From get Pleasure into the Island. salt mines. Yes, yes. So, oh, Geppetto. Cute little Easter egg right here. After a brilliant bit of storytelling, we are headed to lunch at Carnation Cafe, which, when Disneyland opened, was actually the ice cream shop where Walt himself used to sit down and people watch on his treks through Disneyland, the park that he had created. Now that restaurant is Carnation Cafe where you can find some down-home American comfort foods and some of Walt's favorite, like his chili, as well as some burgers, patty melts, and fried chicken. You both want some more fried chicken, right? You sound like good things to me. I love patty melts and fried chicken. Yeah. Also chili. It is a little chilly. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> Just go with it. I don't put up with it when Molly does that. I don't put up with you do it. <laughs> oh, okay. I see how it is. Guys, I stepped in Gross. That's gross. Gross. You're really having trouble. We're really putting this in the video. <laughs> I don't think we're really, so. We're really putting that shot. Yeah. Of- Food has arrived. It looks scrumptious. Also, this restaurant is very cute. I went for the patty melt, which is a burger with cheese, grilled onions, and special house sauce and the seasoned fries. Alan? I went with a classic carnation burger. Melty cheese burger and some fresh veg. And I got the short rib, which comes with mac and cheese and a seasonal vegetable, which right now it's the season for green beans. Oh, Look at it fall apart. That looks yummy. That mac and cheese looks really good. All right. Let's get a little bite of the short rib here. We're in a good place, huh? That's a dance. That's a food dance. Happy food dance time. So tender. Great flavor. Delicious. Get a little bit of this mac and cheese. 
Nice and creamy. It's got some crunchies on top. Are those cheese like, These are cheese it's on oh, top. Oh, I'm gonna steal it by here. We got some cheese it's on top to get a little bit of crunch. And one last hit. Slurp in the green bean like it's a noodle. <laughs> it's excellent, man. This short rib it just bangs. So good. Your girl loves a patty melt. It's got sourdough bread, which I learned all about earlier. I wonder if this one started with the mother. Mm. That's awesome. Nice and juicy. I love the sweetness from the caramelized onions. The meat is cooked well. Tons of cheese. Buttery, toasty bread. And I got extra of the house sauce, which is Thousand Island or special sauce like every burger spot has. A really solid burger. Definitely better than a quick service burger. And also these fries with the seasoning. This is a very good patty melt. Mm, juicy is goodness. Oh my gosh. So juicy. All right. Wait. Sorry, I found one more thing. It's Parmesan crust. Here. I just realized the bread has Parmesan on it. And it's like toasted and it's giving it a little nuttiness. This is nice. I got the classic carnation burger that I'm going to cut in half because we're civilized in this house. On the side, I got fruit for health, naturally. A quick shot of the cross section. Here we have pickles, onion, tomato, and iceberg lettuce. Mm. That's just a good burger. It's actually really high quality beef. I'm very, very happy and pleasantly surprised by that. The veggie, the entire veg mixture is fresh. A healthy amount of melted cheese, light and springy bun. I'm a fan. Overall, I'm actually kind of annoyed because Disneyland's food is already so good that I, we mostly eat quick service. And now I also have to contend with this. Plus the Monte Cristo. Could you send some good food to Magic Kingdom Disneyland? Is that so much to ask? That okay. meal was good. You smell like onion. <laughs> Someone just said to us, I'm so sorry if I smell like onion, <laughs> so. <laughs> I mean, it was good. I'm surprised. I normally do quick service, like meat sticks and cheese on a stick and other food on a stick when I'm in the parks here. I don't, I haven't eaten at all the sit-down restaurants, but it was very good. Mm -hmm. It just makes me more annoyed that Disney World doesn't have this caliber of food at every level, especially in the Magic Kingdom, but... Yeah, that's really true. That's mm -hmm. where the issue is. Very, very tasty. That's now, would right. you recommend Carnation Cafe to people visiting? I uh, wouldn't say, I mean, okay. So in terms of history, in terms of knowing yeah. it's an opening day location, not what it is today, but the fact that Walt sat and people watched there. If you're into that thing, then cool. I wouldn't say the food is particularly unique. It's not gonna feel like an iconic Disneyland dish, but the food was good. I enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, it's opening yeah. day. I think if you're on a tighter time schedule, it's better to do quick service, like here at Jolly Holiday. Again, meat sticks. There's tons of ah. great food over at DCA as well. Cheese sticks. Meat, mm -hmm. yeah. Corn Just dogs. Food, food on sticks is where mm -hmm. you really win here. Uh, and you're right, it's not as iconic, I would say, as getting like a Monte Cristo inside right. the Blue Bayou. But if you are come a lot, or you're looking for a place to luxuriate and relax, high quality food, nice view, right on Main Street, Pretty good. Mm -hmm. We're going to the shooting arcade. We are. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. Accuracy will be important. Yeah. I have a proposition. Okay. As we are going to the Frontierland shooting arcade, sure. which is, I've never done it here. I've, I've done the one out in Magic Kingdom. Uh, I've not, never done either. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, I would like to wager. Okay. A treat. Oh, a treat. A treat. A treat on the old shooting arcade. Yes. And it doesn't have to be a treat you've never had, but you know, we are here in Disneyland and maybe would like a treat later for the fireworks, so. Huh, I'm in support. Support. I've asked. We do. Uh, we have reached an accord. Mm -hmm. Huzzah. <laughs> Huzzah! Headed here into Frontierland, similar to where we were yesterday at Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> I feel true. like I'm back. The Frontierland Shootin' Exposition opened up just a few years after Disneyland in 1957. Originally, it actually shot lead bullets, so they have to repaint it uh, every single night because of the chalk marks the bullets would leave. Now you use a little infrared light and it costs 50 cents to shoot. Are y'all ready? Aye, aye, Captain. A 
A few moments later. How we do? I got four of 20. Of 20 shots, I hit 19 of them. Of 20 shots, I hit 20. Okay, wow. Alabama. Close <laughs> race between Tennessee and Alabama. Uh, uh, like most years. Um, That's true. You know what? It was fun. It was fun. 50 cents well spent, I think. Yeah, kind, I of, kind of must do, but like kind of fun if you've got nothing else to do. Isn't and, it a bizarro thing that there's a thing in Disneyland that you just have to pay two quarters for? <laughs> right, because everyone just has two quarters on them. Thank goodness there's a change, there's a change machine, machine right there. Yeah, you're not wrong. Well, you have to have cash, right? Yeah. You have yeah, a card yeah, thing, yeah, so yeah. weird. Ones and fives. Less and less a common yeah. occurrence these days. <laughs> yeah. All right, Alan, you win. So where are we getting treats after we're done with all of our never done things? I want a pipe and hot beignet. Oh. Now we're, now we're all winners. Now we're all winners. That's true. I yeah. agree. That's yeah. true. Yeah. All right. Benevolence with my excellent marksmanship. That's true. We have one attraction left. And last but not least, our final adventure of the day, Dumbo the Flying Elephant. Not quite an opening day attraction, but gosh, was it close. In August of 1955 was the first time anybody got to ride the Disneyland classic. Going around in circles, flying on the elephant while Timothy Mouse uh, encourages you from above. Weirdly, none of us have ridden this on the West Coast. While I'm sure uh, we've all ridden the one in Walt Disney World many, many a time, this will be a first for all of us. So one more time around, I know we already rode Astro Orbiter today and basically did this ride. It's time for the classic. This one doesn't appear to have a Clemson Dumbo though. So I don't know which, which elephant I'm gonna fight for. Mm. Maybe that cute pink one. I know I'll be riding alone, so. Unlike Astro Orbiter, bros ride together on this one. <laughs> bros ride Dumbo. Dumbro. Two Dumbro. <laughs> Two Dumbros. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, well, not bad for our final experience of the evening. A classic. You got to ride Dumbo. Also, we didn't get to choose what color we wanted, but we both got mammoth colors anyway. That's true. Yes, a little bit different than your East Coast experience rather than the mad rush for the Clemson Dumbo. This time you're just assigned a number and then we politely and safely move to our assigned number. We happen to end up with a little teal and an orange. I wish that there was a Clemson Dumbo, but Dumbo's a classic. Obviously, if you don't have kids or you go to Magic Kingdom a lot, Dumbo's probably not a must do, but it's a classic. Yeah, I mean, if you're just trying to hit the, the almost opening Disney rides. Yeah, uh, not, who is not it? Not quite though. Who is it? When, when I go to Disneyland, I think I need to hit the almost opening. Yeah, <laughs> no, the, the month off. <laughs> For, forget the day opening. Yeah. I know what came next. <laughs> What was, just wasn't quite ready yet. <laughs> yeah, what didn't make the cut? That's where I am. What well, still had walls around it. Opened <laughs> within the first year. What wasn't the priority? That's you right, know, that's, that's where right, I yeah. want to go. Yeah, mm. but I will say this, you know, because the Magic Kingdom Dumbo has moved, it's nice to have Dumbo in Fantasyland. Yeah, Because now, is. of course, it's uh, not in the center of Fantasyland in yeah. Magic Kingdom. Like it used to be, yeah. yeah it's a nice yeah. little reminder. Yeah, what'd you guys talk about? You know, it's not important. Yeah, I mean, you know, stuff. Light, happy subjects, I'm sure. Nothing at all doom and gloom. Just casually discussing our death on Dumbo. <laughs> or any minute demise if this were to fail. What if Dumbo <laughs> were to break? Well, that is a wrap on our day at Disneyland full of things we've never done before. I'd say we had a pretty great day. I agree. Um, on the count of three, let's all say our favorite thing we did today. Okay. You ready? Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. The parade. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Not the amazing soundtrack and amazing clothes. Astro Orbiter. Not even the newly reimagined Toontown. Right. No, but Dumbo is spacious. Yeah. Astro Orbiter, he said. <laughs> Oh, hey, you know what? No, in all seriousness, it was the parade. <laughs> but I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah sure, sure it was, yeah. buddy. <laughs> all right, Doctor left. Strange, I bet. <laughs> How did this happen to me? 
Oh, God. Mick would joke once or twice. Alan got his uh, picture with Doctor Strange today. He That's did. the behind the scenes for you. You were walking through Avengers Campus. Couldn't couldn't get to him fast enough. That's right. Ran after him. He was like a little kid. Pushed the kid out of the way. Yeah. He didn't do that. For legal reasons, he didn't For legal reasons, that's a joke. Probably thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> Had a great day though. Let us know something that you've never done in Disneyland that maybe you're gonna check out next time. Some things were surprising for us. We went through the list and I think at first we thought this would be hard to come up with the list, but then we wrote down Dumbo. And, you know, <laughs> so, <laughs> sometimes you get surprised. <laughs> <sighs> well, I don't think many things we did today are must-dos for most people. It was fun to do new things. And make sure to check out our other Disneyland content, like our draft videos, secret videos, favorite things videos, for some more of kind of the must-dos in the parks. Absolutely. In the meantime, be sure to like and subscribe if you are new and follow us on all of our socials. And if you want to join the conversation with us, jump into our Discord. Our community is there as well. And until next time, friends, I'm Molly. And I'm Alan. And I'm Max. And it has been so magical. Bye. Bye. Let's go get those Ben Yalls. I did win that, didn't I? Yes, and fireworks and more rides. Yeah, it's good to me. Yeah. I'm good.